The question that I asked myself for this week was what foundation um, are U.S. schools built upon? And it was very enlightening to me. I learned a ton about our school system um, and was able to study a little bit more about the core curriculum. Um, I decided that what, whatever was important to our school should be important to me. So what I found was very important was equality in and quality of education for all students. So no matter color, race, ethnicity, religion, it should all be the same, that each child is getting the same education level and that they're all being treated equally. Um, part of being treated equally and having an equal education is hiring educators the best that you can. So finding the absolute best educator that you can and putting those in the schools. Um, that even if it's a low income school, even if it's um, a rural school, that the teachers are well educated and well prepared to teach. Um, the other thing that I noticed was striving for the most positive societal and educational impact. So teaching children to be an active member of society, so teaching them about history and science and being active in our government, being active in our communities is a really important part of what school is. It encourages socialization and that in turn will lead to um, further society benefiting. Um, teaching, what else is important is teaching so that they can continue on to further their education. So giving them a foundation that they can build upon um, so that they can go on to college or to high school, whatever level it may be that we're teaching. Um, which brings me to the core curriculum. I didn't know that it was developed for career and college learning and then traced back to the K-12 through curriculum. So what they did is they decided what career and college um, skills that our students would need, and then they traced that back to the K-12 through curriculum and said, okay, these are the qualities we want them to have for the workforce or for the university, and then they implemented them into the K-12 through core standards, which was really, really fun to learn about. Um, and they were developed by parents, teachers, experts, administrators, um, pretty much anyone that was involved with those students. They consulted with um, and wanted a wide variety of information and opinion, which was another really awesome thing. Um, the core curriculum intends to provide literacy in a variety of um, formats, I guess is what I want to say. So that means in history, in science, in technology, that we want our kids to be literate and fluent in all of those topics. Um, the math standards, there was a quote that I really loved um, on the core standards website, which I will link. Um, and it says, by not only stressing conceptual understanding of key ideas, but also by continually returning to organizing principles, such as place value and the laws of arithmetic to structure those ideas. Um, and like I said, that's from the core website. And I loved that because that's something that I studied when I was studying math education, is the importance of making math a real world concept, that it's not just these numbers that we throw on the paper and have algorithms for, it's real world. Um, and I'll just finish up here by with my last question. Uh, how can understanding the foundation of schools help me be a better teacher? Um, when we understand where schools come from and why we have them, it helps us recognize the importance and value what we're doing. It's very motivating and very driving to know what the goals are and what your ultimate reward is.